بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إنا أنزلناه في ليلة القدر وما أدرى كما ليلة القدر ليلة القدر خير من ألف شهر تنزل الملائكة والروح فيها بإذن ربهم من كل أمر سلام هي حتى ما تنع الفجر To all of you believing brothers and sisters السلام عليكم peace be upon you كل عام وانتم بخير healthy and happy wonderful ramadan as we are celebrating the arrival of month of god is heavenly ma'id heavenly spiritual reception from jannah from heaven from his kingdom happy ramadan to everyone qad atakum shahr as-siyam wa as-salah shahr ar-rahmat wa ar-ridwan shahr al-maghfirat wa itq min an-niran شهر الفلاح والفرحة عند الإفتار اللهم أهله علينا بالأمن والإيمان والسلامة والسلام وتلاوة القرآن The month of Ramadan month of mercy and the message of the quran of revelation is message of mercy month of mercy message of mercy congratulations from tonight we start this Ramadan, the first night of Ramadan of 2023. It is our spiritual holiday. Holiday of hope and healing. What is the purpose of this month? What is the philosophy of fasting? The Quranic answer لعلكم تتقون piety لعلكم تتفكرون reflection لعلكم تعقلون reasoning لعلكم تشكرون gratitude and appreciation لعلكم تذكرون remembrance waking up لعلكم تهتدون guidance finding finding right direction right destination لعلكم تفلحون the month of finding ways of getting out of mess in this world and finding the destination of success, the purpose of life and meaning of life. My dear brothers and sisters, Ramadan is not just only about suhoor and food festival. Ramadan is about soul. It is about soul and faith festival. 
Ramadan is not a season of selfishness. Ramadan is a season of solidarity and unity. Ramadan is not about watching Musal Salat, just the serial of TV entertainments, but it is a season of Qiyam al-Layl, Qum al-Layl illa qalila, wa min al-Layl fatahajjad, al-Qiyam bil-Layl, al-Tahajjad, and an opportunity of more remembrance and prayer and worship and enlightenment and movement, mobilization of thinking and moving and blessing is about all beauties of this holy month of Ramadan. Remember that fasting is not just stop eating and drinking and sex and this kind of thing during the day. Fasting also from the real fasting is fasting from bad intention, bad expressions, bad actions. That is the real Siam. Let us fast also from entertainment in social media. It is sad to see the tsunami of social media, this hurricane, this addiction of TikTok that sometime occupying seven to eight hours time of our children from the time that they come back from the school till the time they go back to school tomorrow morning, they like to take any opportunity using smartphone, computer, any way to have access to entertainment in social media. Let us change that from tonight. Fasting from unnecessary social media, the part that is just waste of time. This is the, the real spirit of fasting during the holy month of Ramadan. Tomorrow, Thursday night, the night of Jum'ah, we meet at the Islamic House of Wisdom to start a series of lecture, education, and awakening information for our generations, for the youth, for the families. I would like to invite everyone to see us tomorrow, 9.30, at the Islamic House of Wisdom in Dearborn Heights, Michigan. We are blessed with very popular, very powerful presenters of the message of Ramadan during this month. We start tomorrow night with our beloved brother, Brother Hassan and Rajab Ali, and we'll continue with great speakers and scholars during this holy month of Ramadan. We have presentations in English, as I mentioned, Brother Hassanayn, and the Arabic presentation, uh, Dr. Basim al Jawad, and reciters of the Quran, reciter of the Dua. Let us take advantage of a Layl wa Nahar, days and nights of Ramadan, with Al Ad'iya Al Layliya. Certain prayers during the night, certain prayers during the day, and let us occupy our time with connection, with communication with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 
relationship based on friendship. So tonight, the first night of Ramadan, brothers and sisters, is a beginning of rebirth, reconciliation, and repairing our spirits, reconnection with our Creator, making a new relationship resuming a new relationship with our Lord Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala based on friendship friendship with God friendship with family friendship with neighbors friendship with humanity friendship and love are the purpose of our presence on this planet. The purpose of the Creator, the one who made us, was not for us to have all these clashes and all these crises and all these cancerous tensions in human relationship. We need that humility and hospitality and love, these are the gifts of the holy month of Ramadan, month of mercy, month of love, month of friendship, month of faith, month of fellowship, month of reconnection. Let us not to miss this great opportunity. Let us change our Focus, focus on faith, focus on friendship, focus on fellowship, not just fo focus on food and uh, water and drink and suhoor and iftar. These are just the physical dimensions of Ramadan. The real focus should be on the spirit of Ramadan to establish new friendship, become friends of God and friends as family and friends of humanity. Let us take advantage of these beautiful nights and pray for peace, month of peace, as salat, as siyam, as sabr, peace, patience, and prayer. These are of the fundamental features of fasting during the holy month of Ramadan. So let us take advantage of it. Pray for peace in America. Pray for peace in Asia. Pray for peace in Africa. Pray for peace especially in the Middle East with all this craziness that is going on in the Palestinian occupied territories and also peace for Ukraine. It just hurts our hearts to see people in Ukraine are paying a big price and they are going through all of this pain and suffering. The people of Ukraine are in need of peace, not propaganda. They need more tranquility than tanks. The Western world are sending more tanks, not necessarily more tranquility. They need more friendship rather than fighter jets. Let us pray for peace and outreach and act on promotion of peace through our prayer and our deeds for everyone. The last thing I would like to add for those of you who support the Islamic House of Wisdom, to remind you again that the following Friday, March 21st, 
at 6.30 in Largeview Banquet Hall in Dearborn Heights. We are going to have the iftar. Many community members, many political and social leaders, religious leaders from the area and from the states of Michigan, state of Michigan, they will participate in this seftar. Your help for Islamic House of Wisdom, your contribution is to support a mission that is summarized in six words, faith, education, standing for love and justice, outreach and action. If you have not, if you have not reserved your tables and you haven't saved your seats, tomorrow, Thursday, is the final day and this is the final reminder to participate. So that is March 31st, not this Friday, the following Friday, and all supporters of the Islamic House of Wisdom are reminded to reserve your place no later than tomorrow. You can call tomorrow at Islamic House of Wisdom 313-359-1221 or you can do your reservation through internet, online, website of Islamic House of Wisdom or through the Facebook. So we are looking forward to see everyone during this holy month of Ramadan, 30 nights and 30 services, educational, faithful, awakening information for everyone, men, women, children, especially the youth in different ages. We have different program for, for the kids, for for the youth, for the elderly. So everybody is welcome with love. Let us celebrate the holy month of Ramadan with joy and happiness and spend time for peace and prayer and connection after years of pain of pandemic now no excuse to come, to not to come to places of worship. Let us have this joy of togetherness from tomorrow night at 9.30 at the Islamic House of Wisdom. Again, happy Ramadan. Allahumma ahillahu alayna. بالأمن والأمان والسلامة والسلام والصلاة 